Hello everyone. In this short video I want to talk about adding in new tools into Nuke, such as Gizmos, plugins, scripts, etc. In fact, Nuke has all necessary tools for compositing and we do need to get a lot of different plugins, you know, to make some compositing stuff. All what we need is already here, especially if you have a version X Nuke. But at some point we would like to make our work faster more efficient and that's why we need to add in uh, the new tools not only to add in new features but also to make the work faster and i like the installation of such plugins like sapphires which are installed by the um, usual method through the installation program most tools must be added manually and this causes difficult, uh, difficulties for beginners. Not only we need to copy them somewhere, but we need to write a few lines of code into some files. So, the first question, when we, where we can find those tools? And we have a nice site like in wikipedia.com. I think that you already know what it is. We have um, over 1,000 free tools for the Nuke. So the main stuff, they're all free. We can definitely uh, download them if you sign in here. So you need to register. And we have a huge base of different gizmos, scripts, plugins, toolset, presets, and other stuff we can download into our system. And we can add them to the Nuke. And in fact, if we look on some uh, plugins, different uh, and tools, we have a description how to install those. But sometimes descriptions are different because there are several methods of installation. <clears throat> In this video, I want to learn how to most convenient way, uh, how to how to add the most convenient way to not only to install them quickly but also to easy transfer those tools into another computer or restore after system reinstalling. So. The best thing <clears throat> we need to deal with is the general principle of installations. So uh, there is a folder where we can have all the tools. So this is a plugin folder to each version of Nuke. If you go to program files, we have all versions we installed in this system. And we have a folder called plugins. In this folder, folder we have many tools many TCLs and DLLs and other stuff we can use inside of Nuke and this already present in Nuke. So we can add our new plugins over here in this folder and try to add those inside of Nuke. But uh, the point is it's not just enough to copy those files in a certain folder. You need to add them into our program menu to launch them inside of Nuke. And the thing is, if you use the plugins folder uh, here inside of program files, if you want to add some stuff here, if you uh, reinstall the Nuke, reinstall system, or even go to another PC, you need to add exactly the same plugins and you need to write exactly the same codes into menu PI, into init PI, to each program version, to each computer. So each time you need to do the same stuff. But the thing is, we can go into our uh, user, user folder, going here, where is something, yeah. So I have a C drive, users, my username, and there we can find the folder calling dot nuke. So over here, the application data and other stuff, we have the nuke folder. Inside of this folder, we have such things like uh, preset uh, preferences for each of your versions. That's fine. You can definitely find some preferences you made. And um, here we can install our new tools. And the thing is, we have this .nuk folder to each user on your PC. So if you, let's say, you work on a production and we have many users in those PCs, each of <clears throat> those users can set up Nuke as he want. So all what you did inside of this folder will be, will be able just for your user. And that is fine. And the, another thing is, if you want to reinstall the system, you just back up all stuff what you have here <clears throat> to some archives or something like that and just copy paste them with, uh, after 
reinstallation will finish. And if you want to go to another PC, you just drag all those files again, archive there and paste those files into new PC for new user and etc. And you do need to install something, write something, you know, make some settings, preference and etc. Just copy and paste. So that's fine. That's very quick and uh, easy method. So let's begin how to install those things. I have a few tools we will install in this video. The thing is, is the first tool is Xtools and actually X, X Distort Gizmo I want to install inside of Nuke. So sometimes we have just a gizmo. So without any icons, descriptions or something, just a gizmo we need to install. In some cases we have two folders like in icons and tools. So we can have icons for these tools, for the start tool, for the overall tools, X, X and etc. So what we need to do, the first thing I want to do, I want to copy this folder, X tools, copy and paste them inside of my dot new folder. So here we are. But uh, if you launch a nuke, each time when we launch our program, nuke look into some folders to find plugins, scripts and extra files. And those plugins and those folders are the one of those folders I already showed you is folder plugin inside of each nuke version. And another folder is that nuke folder. But it will not look into all those folder. It just looking on the key in the <coughs> into root. So over here. So each time if you add some folders inside of here, like we did, we have the X tool folder, we have the icons tool, etc. We need to tell Nuke look into this folder, into icons to find some icons, and into tools folder to find some gizmo. To do that, we need to add those two paths into Nuke. How we can do this? Again, if you go into our program files, go to Nuke plugins, we can find here a few interesting files. The first one is file called init.py, yes. and another one is menu.py. All right, so this, these two files can um, help us to find the proper way to install uh, such, uh, some uh, gizmo, some plugins, and to add something new inside of your program. So we can see we have some uh, menu bar, new, so open, new comp, open comp. We have some stuff like um, new commands for the note, for the edit, and uh, any other stuff. And we have an init BI when we can find some, you know, default settings for some uh, uh, notes and etc. So we're going to talk about those later a bit. So we already have those files like an in API and menu API. And sometimes when you download programs, you can see inside of description that, all right, if you want to add this tool inside of Nuke, you need to open your menu API. You can find inside of plugins menu, and then you need to add a few uh, lines of a code to make this plugin works. But in fact, if you did this inside of menu pi which is inside of plugins all right when you reinstall the new system you will lose this because you know we just rewrite this file again and we're gonna lost all our codes we add earlier so to make this thing a little bit easier we can create those files in our user folder so we go into that nuke and we can create those files here so each time we reinstall system or nuke, we don't have to rewrite those files. And we won't lose any information. So how we can do this? Well, actually inside of Windows, we can definitely make it very easy. So the first thing I'm going to create like an init PI. By default, I create just text document, but I open it and say file, save as, and I call this all files and make it .pi. 
So if I uh, write init.pi within txt extension, we're going to have like init.pi.txt. So to create the pi script file, I use all files and just type init.pi. So now we have this init.pi. In fact, I have this icon because I use the uh, Sublime Text program to um, make a script. So you can use even the basic standard word part or notepad <clears throat> to edit those files. It doesn't matter what you can use. I'm just using this because it's a little bit, you know, easy to work with the Python in my case. You see that it's have a nice visual representation of the script. So and the same stuff I want to do with the mini PI. So again, save as all files now type menu py click save okay so that's we can delete now we have a two py files so file py that's what we need to have not a txt py and we now can edit those to add my x tool folder to add my new tools inside of nuke so the first thing we need to add this new path to our nuke launch system so each time nuke are gonna launch uh, it will look into those folders and it will find our distort gizmo and it will find our icons so how we can do this again open init file all right so just double click on that now let's write some strokes first thing i need to do is adding a new path new path so how I can do this? Well, actually, uh, if you don't know uh, the scripting, you did, if you don't know the Python scripts, it doesn't matter. It's very simple and each command will repeat again and again to add in new tools. So we're going to use almost the same commands for each tool. So it's very easy even if you forget about this command, you can you open your init.py or mini.py file Look on this all right now i know how it <laughs> writes and just with copy paste you will change just the paths or you will change the tool name that's it so the first thing we need to add we need to add this plugin pass so to write this we need to type nuke that mostly we're going to use comment like nuke so because we actually write this uh, lines for the nuke so we need to add a new path for the plugins so plugin add path right go to parentheses and we need to add the path for our two folders the first one for the icons so i can just copy paste that ctrl c and paste here so all our text stuff we need to add into this little things so uh, into this quotes yeah right uh, so that's how we can write our new pass for the plugin but the thing is a new was created into a nick system and we need to add those slashes not like in windows but like on mac nix Right now, I'm going to copy this, Ctrl C, Ctrl V, but change the icons to tools. All right, so Ctrl, C, Ctrl S for saving those files. So I add the tools and icons folders now to our plugin path. So each time Nuke will launch, it will look into those folders, into icons and into our tools. So, but that's just the first stage. We're gonna uh, use it. So actually, if we, you know, just launch nuke, close this and start it again. There's no changing, okay? So definitely there's no like an X tools, no nothing, okay? So yeah, we add those paths but we need to uh, add the new menu item inside of Nuke. So we need to define where inside of my um, GUI I need to put my X tools inside of my menu here, inside of my toolbar over there. 
So the thing is, we can use my toolbar, all right? So <clears throat> we have many different groups inside of toolbars, like an image, color correction, transform, 3D, and etc. We can use already existed, existing uh, groups, or we can add our personal icons, groups, tools, etc. So to do that, we need to go into our menu PI file. So open that. It's empty for now. So now what I want to do, I want to add, create a menu for our X tools. So we can add a description menu for X tools. So with this stuff, we can add some comments. So that's not a code. Without this, we have a code, code but just pressing this we have a description or we can uh, type any text we want to describe what we have underneath. So <clears throat> the thing is, the first stuff we need to get our toolbar. So this toolbar in Nuke called Notes. So it has a name, not just a toolbar. The name of this toolbar is Notes. So in some early version of Nuke, we uh, can see this inside of our menu here. We have a uh, toolbar and then we have this triangle. We can see here notes. So we can we need to take this toolbar. OK, so as and always Nuke that toolbar. And we need to uh, to find the name of this toolbar. OK, so this toolbar calls notes. So this command grab our toolbar. That's fine. So we need to, to put this toolbar into like a TB <clears throat> variable. And now we need to add the new menu item inside of this toolbar. To do that, we take our toolbar. So we already know that we have our toolbar inside of this variable. And I need to add a new menu. Oh, sorry. New menu. So now inside of those parentheses, I need to define the name of this menu. And if I want to, I need to add the icon. So my new item will have the name like X tools. Okay. X tools. Comma. And then we need to add an icon. Well, you can use uh, default icon. You can find inside of plugins icon folder inside of each menu version, uh, each uh, Nuke version. Sorry, but in our case, we have these icons. Or sorry, have these icons over here. So we have the path for those icons. So Nuke already knows that we have the X tool PNG there. So if you look on that again, icons, this icon named X tools, and it has an extension like a PNG. All right. So we do need to add the whole path to that. Okay. We do need to drag uh, this path. Yeah. We already write this path into the init PI. So all what we need just to type X tools.png. That's all. All right. <coughs> Next stuff, we need to again add this command to new variable. Let's say m, so it's menu, right? To new variable. And now I need to add a comment. So in fact, what we did, we add like this icon. Okay, like this or this or this. But it's an empty icon. There is no comments, no tools. No, nothing. So it won't uh, appear here because we need to connect with some tools. There can't be the empty icon. Uh, empty icon. So the next stuff we're gonna add here is a new command. To now inside of our m variable, we have our toolbar and we have our menu x tools inside of this toolbar. Now I want to add the comment. So you see it's pretty easy because we have toolbar, 
we add a new menu and now we add a new command that's very easy in fact yeah pretty simple commands now what command we want to add here in fact from all x distort elements or tools we have some different tools like a tesla distortion and extra stuff we have a next distort gizmo so i want to name this command like x slash distort all right so you can name this as you want this is just a name or description or name it doesn't matter what name you will add you can add a tools my tools your tools tools for all and etc but now uh, all what we need here just type um, what we need to launch with this comment and here we need to paste our gizmo we need to add our x distort gizmo in fact each time when nuke look into uh, inside of this folder it's find gizmo this extension you could know already because it's, it's native extension gizmos is remember the name of this gizmo in our case we have the name x distort so now if i want to put my gizmo when i uh, press my command we need to create a node call it x distort so to create a node we're going to use a very simple command nuke dot create node so pretty simple right and inside of parentheses we need to add the name of this node and the name is oops i <laughs> i thought that i copied this but Control c just to name is correct so definitely i remember how i named those files but in fact i add here the next distort so if you want to use the name of the node inside of our command we need to add those quotes again <clears throat> all right but in this situation when we have quotes inside of other quotes we have some troubles because the program thought that we have this text inside of one quotes and this text inside of another so to uh, paste text inside of text so we need to use uh two different methods or using by using the different quotes like inside of this we can use with one quote so now we can type that this text is inside of this text or if we use this stuff we can type with the um, this sign like here and here so now we have uh, the proper code okay now we have a proper comment then comma and again the icon we can add the icon we can not do it yeah if you don't have an icon we won't do this but in our case we have so the same comment icon we can even you now copy paste this like this Control c Control v but now we have the png call it i don't remember x distort right oops sorry call an x distort png and let me check it all right so Control s to save our menu pi and again i close nuke and restart it again and as a result of all our works we are gonna have yeah we're gonna have a new item inside of our toolbar call it x tools <clears throat> and we have an x distort inside of that okay so we press this we have a note that's fine so <clears throat> well that's not too difficult i think we can do this easy <clears throat> if you go to in api we can actually even make this code a little bit more simpler the thing is we can use our root folder as a start for our path so if we add each time a new tools inside of our nuke dot nuke folder so if you put 
our tools inside of this folder each time we can delete all those lines just with one sign just with the dot so if you go in here into mini pi i can replace all those lines just with the dots so when i type dot here this means that we look into our root folder and the root folder for our init pi is the folder where this init pi it is okay so in our case i can simply type dot here and this means that till this dot we're going to look in our path where our init pi exists so in fact if we put our init pi inside of our dot nuke folder this means that our root folder is here all right so we can make it a little bit simpler for reading i think so Control s and now i want to show you another case we can add the new script or new plugin called collect files so it's very helpful stuff I work in After Effects and sometimes if you want to collect and in 3D Studio Max in After Effects if you want to collect your files you just press collect and you take and grab all our files use it inside of composition or inside of your project and uh, copy those files into one folder so you can easily take this take this folder into different PCs and, uh, and it will um, open with all files it need well <clears throat> nuke by default don't have this ability so we can't collect all files sometimes it can be very useful because sometimes your file can you know be on different drives and different computers local drives etc and when you want to collect those files to archive or just to take this uh, project into different computer you you always always need to manually collect all those files to one folder and then re rewrite the path strokes etc so with this script we can easily do any collect stuff inside of nuke so again we can find this collect files nuke i just click files nuke and we have in the google a few different versions for collect files in our Wikipedia. So we have the more older stuff, older stuff. Like um, uh, here we have just six version or later, and we have the new new collect version 2.0 from uh, version nine. So it's more. So it's the newest version actually. So we're gonna use this new collect. And again, we can uh, find a description how to install this, okay? So we have install in your Nuke menu bar, put the script into your script folder, and then add this to the end of your Nuke menu PI file. So in this case, they want, uh, I need to open my menu PI file here somewhere and add a few lines of the code in the end of this file. So again, we won't do this. We're gonna add those lines here inside of our menu pi right okay so what we need to do we have those lines and we have our script which is here it's called new collect so Control c Control v and create new folder call it collect all right and paste this file here go to my init pi Ctrl C, Ctrl V, and just type here. Oops, sorry. Type here. Collect. That's it. Ctrl S. We're gonna save it. And now inside of our menu PI, I just make a copy paste. I didn't want to type too much, so copy this. Go to menu PI and paste this. We can add a description. So this is our collect, collect files script okay and that's it so control s and now in this situation you can see some changing except of our toolbar we're going to use the menu so toolbar toolbar is all knows we have on the left side of our gui but a menu is that what we have in the upper side 
our program like a file edit and etc so we add a new menu call it nuke collect all right and put this into some variable calling reference yeah. now reference put uh, dot add command so you see that we have the same command add command and we have the name for this command like we have here and we have the function we need to uh, launch with pressing this command and we need to new collect new collect to launch our new collect actually uh, this is not a gizmo in our situation this is the python script and to add this python script to uh, align this python script with the pressing of our new collect menu we need to import this script like here so the first command need to be import nuke collect and again nuke already know what is nuke collect because we write the path for our plugins over here all right so that's pretty easy we're gonna save this stuff and launch nuke now Basically, if we have some wrong codes, if we have some syntax error or something like that, we're going to have um, this warning over here inside of our Nuke uh, window or even here sometimes it shows us that something wrong here inside of init.py or Nuke.py. But in our case, it's all fine. We have a Nuke Collect menu here and we press Nuke Collect. It's simply ask us where i want to put all my files from this project but in fact i don't need to put anything here because this is empty for empty project but in fact if you want to change something let's say name so just to collect okay if you want to uh new press a collect okay so save it again you can close this and adding a new starting in new nook we have just a collect so as you wish you can name it as you want you can even put this collect inside of any uh, menu you want maybe edit collect or something like that as you want you can do that all right so another thing i want to show you is how we can uh, how we can write some scripts so if you go in here uh go into our wikipedia we can actually close this stuff and go to wikipedia downloads we have some scripts here python scripts so what we can do here let's say just open 3d doesn't matter and <clears throat> in my case i show this script yeah camera scene and scanline render script so what is script doing it just created three nodes camera scene and scanline render node connect those nodes between and that's it so it's pretty easy script allow us to press the hotkey and have all three nodes in one already connected so that's pretty old script we see that it's like 10 uh, seven years ago so beginning from version 5 but anyway what is good in nuke i have uh, dozens of different script all right and the mostly they was writing in like um, for version 6 or even older but uh, maybe 90 or 95 percent of those scripts are still working in version 11. so yeah some script it's is changing you know so, sometimes we have some syntax changing or something like that so some of those scripts uh, are not working in this version but mostly almost 90 95 percent of all scripts are still working so that's good we need to take care of that all right we have a new version nuke we need to rewrite our scripts or something like that now so okay we have the script and we can download that okay i agree open it and we have a script so this is just a pi file all right and what we can do i want to make this stuff like a comment inside of my menu inside of my toolbar actually somewhere here 
I think that inside of my other group and I want to make to add a hotkey to this script so I press like a control alt C and I'm gonna have all this set up how I can do this well I copy all those lines I don't need to import nuke I just copy this go to my main API and type like a um, little bit description so my um, 3d 3d cam set script so I need to know what I'm adding here and this is pretty simple script well uh, the first thing we calling the function like define cam set so we create something like a function all right or the comment and call it cam set and then after the parentheses we have simple comments for creating the camera and go this uh, and put this camera into cam variable creating the scanline render node create a scene node and connect some inputs here so it's pretty easy all right so we spent uh, like 10 or 15 seconds to do this manually inside of nuke but sometimes when you need to create this you know faster you don't need to spend those 50 seconds you just press the hotkey and that's it so that's how we can speed up our work uh, inside of nuke yeah all right so we have this side of main api but we definitely need to write some codes to add this cam set stuff into our menu what can we do well actually again we can use the same variable tb because we already used that here we can rewrite it uh, inside of toolbar we can add uh, inside of this variable we can add again nuke toolbar nodes another way we can wrote this it's like a nuke dot except of toolbar we can write just a menu but we need to add a name what name we have and this name is notes so like it's here the same command do the same stuff we take our menu notes all right so now what I want to do I want to take my TB variable and again I want to add a new command add command like here so I don't need to put a menu, okay? Because I don't need to create a new menu. I want to use already existed menu and put just a new command. And what I want to use, I think that I will put this stuff inside of other. So I have the other group and there is different nodes. We sometimes we use like an input output dot and etc. So I want to put my script underneath this or so somewhere here. And I want to add the um, hotkey for that so what I want to do I want to grab my uh, other group so I just take my parentheses here and um, quotes and name other all right slash and I need to name my comment well I want to set the same name cam set so uh, we have the name the next thing Think we need we need to add the command actually we need to add the function or comment we need uh, to launch this function okay so to do that all what we need to do is just copy this control C and paste here that's pretty easy because we all we defined this function over here so all of the nuke know what is this so it's very important not to paste the strokes here because till this time we uh, don't have any defining of the cam set so we put our cam set here after our function is defined all right so now i just make comma and now i want to i don't want to add an icon okay if you want to you can grab some uh, default icons or whatever you have in this situation I want to paste the um, the hotkeys so control plus alt <coughs> plus C so that's gonna be my hotkey control alt C I save this stuff close nuke again 
to wait a little bit open that I'm going to other and we can see the campsite here the same stuff I just press ctrl alt C and I have my setup so camera scene and scan and render we can each time just by pressing the hotkey create the same set inside of 3d so now you already know how to work with the gizmos with the python scripts with the plugins using the same python script like a collect files how we can add those elements into existed <coughs> menu items like other how to create the new items inside of our toolbar how we can create the new menu stuff over here and how we can launch all those stuff we can download from the uh, Wikipedia. Another thing I want to show you is the hotkeys because many people ask okay how we can change my hotkey inside of Nuke or add a hotkey to some uh, uh, some nodes I use very often and how I can put the hotkeys let's say for the shuffle so I don't want to type each time you know the shuffle and etc I just want to press like an I don't know the control H or something like the control H something like that and we already have this note here all right or H for shuffle and control H for the um, I don't know for the shuffle copy or something like that how we can do this in fact we already see that we have uh, I can close this inside of menu PI inside of our nuke 11 plugins folder and we can see that we have many um, hotkeys for uh, like an edit menu or something like that so the right left here we have this is like a control so it's mini control X and if you want to add um, the uh, new hotkey for let's say for the shuffle we go to our menu PI and type like uh, change um, <clears throat> hotkeys and what we need to do we need to add the same uh, command for the shuffle all right so we need to uh, type like a nuke that menu parentheses nodes and uh, now we need to add a command so we need the same stuff like we did here but without any variables so of this command we need to uh, grab our shuffle node our shuffle node is inside of channel uh, oops sorry not like this <coughs> channel and uh, <coughs> shuffle then we need to press the command like a new create node and etc 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 so uh, I just don't remember how to oh no yes <coughs> okay let's type again um, nuke that create node and we need to create a shuffle node so as you see I can use uh, parentheses with one and double parentheses uh, so double quotes and single quotes here to define which text area I want to add here all right so I add in my shuffle node and then I need to put um, the hotkey so <coughs> we need to remember <coughs> positions for all command so first uh, thing we need to add inside of our edge command is is the name of our command the name is shuffle we put this shuffle inside of channel menu all right when we press this shuffle command we create the new node creating note inside of nuke calling shuffle then the third one is the hotkeys if we don't have a hotkey we need to type an icon so icon gonna be the shuffle png all right so that's gonna be an icon but if i want to put my hotkey i need to paste it over here like a single quotes h comma and then we need to add an icon so I will save it. Close this. No. 
All right, so <clears throat> need just to look on that. Um, all right, I think that was fine. No errors. <laughs> Always good when we don't have any errors. And if you go in here to our channels, we have the shuffle and we have the H hotkeys. All right, so the same method we can use for the shuffle copy to make a control key, control H or something like that. So just control C, control V, and the same stuff. We get a shuffle copy here, shuffle copy there, and just a control um, plus, plus H. So it doesn't matter. All right, so it's pretty easy and you can use this method for adding a hotkeys to each of those tools. So. It's simply to define each time you <coughs> look on our group, you can see the name of the group. <coughs> so this is the channel, color, filter, keyer, transform, and etc. So you already know how to name, and when you press this, you already see the name of our command. And in most cases, in, in most cases, the name is the same for the PNG file to add an icon, all right? So, and the same name of the node. All right, so, <clears throat> but in the, in the end, what I, wanted, uh, what I want to talk about is, let's say I want to change the hotkey for my menu here. Let's say for the edit. And I have, let's say the clone, and I have a hotkey alt key. So that's fine. I like this hotkey, but anyway, if we want to change like a control alt key or something like that, or control alt K or something like that, how we can do this? <clears throat> if you go into our menu PI, yeah, we have an edit, where is my clone? Here we go. We have the add command clone and we have this uh, alt K shortcut and hotkey. And, um, what if I want to change this? All right, I can do this here. So I simply can grab this and put this over here, save this file menu PI, and after the next start uh, of my nuke, I will have the new hotkey for my clone. But again, with the reinstall, with reinstalling the nuke or reinstalling uh, the system, <clears throat> you will lose this hotkey. So the thing is, we can definitely copy this line to our menu PI and change in here to the new hotkeys. And the reason why I want to show you that I don't want to change it. The thing is, we have the order uh, when the nuke is looking into our menu files. So now we have some different menu PI files and each time when Nuke is starting is is looking inside of those menu PI files and we have the order and it's very uh, uh, important because uh, if we have one hotkeys inside of this menu PI file and have another hotkeys inside of this menu PI files, what's going to happen? And we're going to have this hotkey. As the reason for that, nuke looking inside of this menu PI first, because it's inside of plugin folder. <clears throat> and then it's look inside of this menu PI. So if we have the hotkeys, hotkey for the clone there, and we have another hotkeys here, so we will rewrite those hotkeys. And in my case, when I launch the nuke, it will assign one hotkey and then reassign it with a new menu PI to new hotkey. And now, <clears throat> sorry, I don't, I'm not saving this. So. Uh, I, I forget to add um, uh, to add a variable. So here, when we use the comment, we have a variable m, right? So we need to define this variable, okay, like this. So we have a menu edit inside of uh, variable m, all right? 
So inside of this M, we need to add a comment clone. All right. So if you want to change it again, So by default, without this command, we, we're going to use our toolbar nodes. And there is no any kind of, you know, clone stuff. All right. So now we have the clone with the control alt K. So that's nice stuff because if you want, let's say, replace your mini PI or init PI from this folder, from our dot nuke folder, and we're simply going to lose all our hotkeys we're going to use. All right. So if you want to drag all those settings, hotkeys, plugins, tool sets, scripts, and etc. into another PC, you just grab all those files, just control C, control V, and you all, you have all your hotkeys again. It's no headache or something like that. And the last thing I want to show you is create some global folders. So the thing is, each time you want to use, like uh, add a new tools, X tool, Y tools, M tools, you know, some distortions, blurry stuff and other thing. Each time you want to add the new tools inside of your .NIC folder, uh, you will create the new folders. And each time to add this new folder into your launch system, you need to uh, type this folder path over here. And you're going to have for, for each plugin, you're going to type the new plugin path here. But well, we have more global stuff. So except of this, you just can type like here. And this means that this is just a text. So it, now it's not a script. In this case, what I want to do, I want to create the global folders here. So the first stuff like uh, gizmos, the first folder, then I create the icons. Then I create like plugins or scripts i don't know let's say scripts and now except of my x tools and etc i grab my x distort node to gizmos i grab uh, the icons from here to my folder icons okay from the collect i take my python script and put it inside of scripts folder. All right. So now I can take this and this and delete it. All right. And inside of init PI, what I want to do, I just take my command is the adding path and type here gizmos. All right. Control C, Control V here the icons folder and the scripts folder. Save it. So now we have just a three plugin path, three plugin paths. And each time you want to add a new tools, so let, let's see, does it work or not? <laughs> so icons, gizmo, scripts, we need to have the same syntax. So open the nuke. So yeah, we have our text tool, we have our collect files. So this works. So now each time when you want to add the new gizmo, let's say you do need to write the new line into init PI because all we need to do, to do is go into my files. Let's say I want to add the X Tesla gizmo. So I have the X Tesla gizmo here. I control press control C, go to gizmos, control V, the same stuff with the icons. Well, I don't need the X tool icon anymore because I already have it. Go to icons and paste it here. So now I don't need to edit the init PI. All what I need to edit is just, just a menu because I need to add the new command here. Just control C, control V. And I have the same X tools menu, but I need to add the new command colon x call it tesla x tesla well i i guess it's yeah tesla all right so now x just need to copy here and copy here control s 
Launch Nuke again. And we have a new tool. So it's take like 10 seconds to copy and to uh, correct our PI menu file. So, so now it's very easy and we need to create dozens of different folders inside of our uh, new folder here. So just the gizmo icon and scripts. Well, you can create four different plugins uh, folders to uh, name other, to put something, something like that. Uh, something which is not a gizmo, not an icon, not a script. Well, you can create four or five different uh, folders. In my case, I have these three folders. So, uh, well, I'm using the different little bit system. I have the folder NS, and inside of this NS, I have the different init PI and uh, menu PI. So, that's more difficult system. But anyway, you can use this uh, very, very useful method. So now you can easily create and adding the new tools and you do need to remember all those commands anymore because you already have your menu PI and if you forget something, you just go here. All right. Ah, uh, yeah, that's how I can install it. So I just control C, control V and just change names and that's it. So we are going to put all those things inside of the same folders, our global folders and just we need to add the new commands to add our tools inside of toolbar or inside of our upper menu here. So that's pretty easy as you can see and I hope this information will be interesting for you. So see you later. Thank you for your attention.